Earlier, we learned about if and then, and we also learned about else. Well, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the else-if condition, where you can have multiple conditions inside your if-then statement. We're also going to do some more with dates and times, including the date part function. Earlier, we learned about the if-then statement, and we did some work with the date part function. Let's take a look at that again and do a little bit more with it. Let's recreate that. Let's say my hour equals date part h, the hour portion of the current time. In fact, instead of the current time, let's put a specific time in here. Now, we can get that value from the system clock like we have with the date and the time functions, but I want to specify a time. Okay? Now, how do you specify a time in ASP? Well, I could put in here something like this, 8 o'clock p.m., but I know I'm going to get yelled at. In fact, just to show you, let's get yelled at. And there's the problem. Okay? You could put it inside of quotes, but now it's going to get treated as actual text. And that is okay, but it gets treated as text, which is not a time value. So here's the key. In order to work with dates and times, you have to put them inside of those little pound symbols. See that? The little pound symbols above the 3 on my keyboard. And now, if I response.write my hour, I should get my 8 o'clock p.m. Let's see what happens here. Refresh. And there's the 20, because 8 o'clock p.m. is 20 hundred hours. So that is correct. Okay, and that's how you can specify a time or a date. You can also put a date in here, right? You can put in here, um, you know, 1-1-2009. One, one, That's a valid date time. And if I refresh it, I still get a 20 because that is the hour portion of that, right? If you want to see the year, just put in here a Y. Save it. Refresh. And I'm getting a 1. Why am I getting a 1? All right, a Y by itself gives you the day of the year. There's a bunch of different types of options you can get with the date part function. All right, here are all the different options. You can see Y, 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 Y is year. Okay, Q is quarter, M is month. A single Y is the day of the year. So if it's the January 1st date, you have to type in Y, 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 Y if you want to see the year portion. Otherwise, we're going to get the 1 because January 1st is the first day of the year. Okay, D is the day, W is the weekday, right, 1 through 7. Um, hour is the hour, N is for a minute, because M is already taken by month, and of course you've got second, so those are the different date part codes. So to see the year here, we'd need Y, 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 Y. And if we save that and go back to our browser, there's the 2009. But we really just want the hour, and we really just want the hour portion here. We don't need that whole thing. We just want 8 o'clock p.m. All right, so response, I write my hour. Now, I don't want to do that either. Let's go back and say if my hour is less than 12, then response.write good morning. It is around... Now, I'm getting close to the end of the line here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an ampersand and then an underscore character. The underscore character says continue this line down here on the next line. And I like to tab in, and I'm going to say my hour and o'clock, like that, and if. All right, save it, reload my browser. And it, it's blank. Why is it blank? Well, that's because it's not before noon. Let's change this to 8 o'clock a.m. Save it. Reload it. Good morning. It is around 8 o'clock. See that? Nothing we haven't really done already yet. But what if I want a couple of different options in here? All right. I want before noon. And then I want afternoon, but not quite evening yet. So now I'm going to say, else if, else if my hour is less than, let's say, 5 o'clock p.m. So 5 o'clock p.m. would be 1,700. Then, and I'll copy and paste this stuff, paste it in there, good afternoon. 
afternoon, it is around my hour o'clock, else, paste this stuff in, good evening, right, good evening, all right, the new concept here is the else if, one word, save it, all right, refresh, it's around 8 o'clock, how about 8 o'clock a.m., right, here will be in the p.m., and here will be in the p.m. as well. Let's change our time now and say that it's 3 o'clock p.m. You can put military time in here too if you want to. If you'd prefer to put 1500 in there, that's fine. Save it. Preview it. Good afternoon. It's around 15 o'clock p.m. That's not quite right. Let's say my hour minus 12. And you can do that right here. My hour, my hour minus 12. Because we're putting a PM right there, right? Let's see if that works. Refresh. Oh, look at that. My hour minus 12 is 3 o'clock PM. And yes, I know it'd be rare that you'd have to display something like this. This is just an example for class so you can see how this stuff works. Okay, but I want to show you all this stuff because you're going to be doing a lot with dates and times. So if I'm going to teach you if, then, and else, stuff like that, I'm going to show you some practical stuff you're going to be using while you're building your web pages too. And of course in the evening, if it's 11 o'clock, save it and preview. It's now around 11 o'clock p.m. And I got a round in there because it might not be exactly 11. It might be 11.15. Right? You can change this to say it's after 11 o'clock p.m. Okay. But a round is good for this example. What do we do if it's exactly midnight or noon? Well, we can just add another condition in here, right? Else if my hour equals 12, then response.write, it is around noon. And we could get more complicated and take a look at, see what the minute is and such like that. But this, again, is just a rough example to give you kind of an idea of how the if-then-else-if works. Okay, we're not going to get into the specific details of doing every minute and second. How would we handle midnight? Same way we handled the 12. Midnight would simply be the zero hour. So we just put there, if my hour equals zero. We have to make sure we put it in front of this one, though, because it's going to hit this first. If my hour is less than 12, then this stuff here... But 0 is less than 12, right? So it won't find any of the rest of these conditions. So I'd have to actually insert it in here. Right? Just put some enters in there. If my hour equals 0, then response.write, it is midnight. Right? And then else if, delete, 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 my hour is less than 12, and so on. Okay? It's going to hit this first, then hit this one, then hit this one, and so on. 